he won't be working with him in the future. Jared Leto will not play Hugh Hefner in biopic directed by sex scandal hit Brad Tratner. It was supposed to be a money-spinning look at the life of the founder of Playboy. But Jared Leto has spoken out to say he will not be starring in a Hugh Hefner biopic by sex scandal hit Brad Tratner. The director has been enveloped in controversy after six women accused him of sexual harassment or misconduct, including the newsroom actress Olivia Munn. In an official statement, a spokesman for the 45-year-old actor said, Jared Leto is not and was not attached to a Brett Ratner-directed Hugh Hefner film, nor will he be working with him in the future. Earlier reports were incorrect and not confirmed by his representatives. And it seems the sex scandal has rocked the production, as it has also been put on hold by Playboy Enterprises. A spokesman said, we are deeply troubled to learn about the accusations against Brett Ratner. We find this kind of behavior completely unacceptable. We are putting all further development of our projects with Rat Pack Entertainment on hold until we are able to review the situation further. Six women claimed that they were victims of sexual harassment or assault at the hands of Rush Hour director in a Los Angeles Times expose. Among the women are model-turned-actress Natasha Henstridge. 43, who said he forced her to perform oral sex on him back in the early 90s after they spent an evening hanging out at a friend's apartment in Manhattan. Henstridge, who would have been 19 at the time, said, he strong-armed me in a real way. He physically forced himself on me. At some point, I gave in and he did his thing. Also coming forward was actress Olivia Munn who claimed that the director masturbated in front of her back in 2004 when she was asked to deliver food to his trailer on the set of After the Sunset. She said, he walked out, with his belly sticking out, no pants on, shrimp cocktail in one hand and he was furiously masturbating in the other. And before I literally could even figure out where to escape or where to look, he ejaculated. Ratner's lawyer Martin Singer has categorically denied all of the accusations on his client's behalf. He said, I have represented Mr. Ratner for two decades, and no woman has ever made a claim against him for sexual misconduct or sexual harassment. Furthermore, no woman has ever requested or received any financial settlement from my client.